Welcome. I've done some previous videos on upgrading memory on a QNAP NAS and a Synology NAS, and both of those NAS devices have a Celeron J3455 processor. Now if you go to Intel's website and look up the max RAM that you can use in that, it says 8 gigabytes. But in both of those videos I've demonstrated upgrading to 16 gigabytes of RAM. And I'll put a link in the description to those videos so you can check those out. But I've had a lot of people say that that's not right, it doesn't actually work, things like that. So I wanted to make a video where I can actually test the RAM. So on the QNAP NAS, you have a HDMI out on it, so I can connect a monitor up to it. And then I can boot into the BIOS and boot off whatever drive I want. So I have this website up here, and I'll put a link in the description of this, and this talks about how to do a memory test on the QNAP NAS. So what you want to do is you want to go to memtest.org, click on that, and then you want to look for this download auto installer for USB key. So I've already done that, it's in my downloads folder here. So I'll double click on that. I'll open that up. I'll hit yes. I'll hit I agree. And that says select a USB flash drive. So I'm going to insert a drive. I'm going to be using a 32 gigabyte Samsung bar drive. So it's not recognized. I'll just cancel out of this and start over. I guess I should have known that, huh? Okay, so now the drive's showing up, it's the E drive. I'll check this recommended, check if you want to format it, I'll hit create. So this is going to write the mem test onto the flash drive. I'll hit next here, I'll hit finish. Close out of this. Now I'll go down to my dock, or my tray. I'll click on my drive and eject it. Now it's ready to go. So now I'm going to switch over to the NAS and we'll start the memory test. Okay, so I have the QNAP NAS here, and this is the TSX53BE series. There could be other ones that use the same processor. So I'm going to slide the little tab on the side here, and the front cover will come off. So now I want to release each of the drives. I'll pull down on the tab and just pull it out just a little bit. You want to make sure the contacts aren't connecting. There we go. I'll take my USB flash drive and I'll plug that in. So now I'll press the power button and I'll press Dell on this keyboard here. Delete. I may need to hold the power button down for just a second. There we go. Oh, it was hard to see at this angle if that light was on, but it is on. Okay, so now we're in the BIOS screen. So I'm going to use the right arrow to go over to save and exit, and I'll press the down arrow to go to Samsung flash drive 1100. I'll hit enter there, and it will go into the memory test mode. So I ran two passes on this, and it took around eight hours, I think a little over eight hours. So I'm going to put that in the video now, I'll merge that in, and I've sped it up a tremendous amount because I don't think many people are going to want to watch that for 8 hours. Okay, so that concludes the test. So you can see here that it ran through two passes, and what this does is it writes random data to every address in memory. So if you have any bad memory modules, this is able to test that. And you can see here it's recognizing all 16 gigabytes of RAM. You can see on the left side it says memory 16 gigabytes. And it went through two passes with no errors. And actually, I left this running overnight and it went through a third pass, but I wasn't going to record it. The recording was already huge since it was eight hours of recording time. So I just want to make this video to show that this can address 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now that's not to say it can always address 16 gigabytes of RAM. They may revise this processor at some point and take out that capability. But I've been running it since I got these, so it's well over a year, and haven't had any problems with it. But your mileage may vary. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.